The stand is twenty meters by uh, seventeen meters. So the orientation this way and say the entrance is here so the foundation is like this, which is 10.2 meters this way and 14 point something meters this way So I had two choices um, to make. So this is the land. So we'll call this option one, option two. So with option one, I had a choice to do a cut, cut all this soil here, and then fill it here. So whatever soil we cut here, we then fill here, and then we'll have a nice base here, and then the level of the land is up to here. Then I had the other option, which was just to cut all the way like this, and remove all of the soil. This is the option I went to. The reason I did not go with this particular option, um, building regulations they say that if this thing here if the fill is greater than 400 millimeters or 40 centimeters then this has to be done by an engineer um, I am not an engineer so I I could not do this uh, this was definitely the fill here was definitely going to be more than 400 uh, because that land slopes a lot um, and also the regulations they say that this should be done in lifts of 150 millimeters so you cut here you fill and compact up to 15 millimeters then you cut again you compact up to 15 millimeters. so you keep going up by 150 up until you reach your desired height it could have been maybe 600 so I did not want to do any of this because I, I did not think I could do it. Uh, it required much more technical expertise. So I went with this option. The idea was that we'll just ensure that the whole foundation, which would be somewhere like this, it's on the actual natural ground as opposed to half of it being on back form. 